Hello and welcome to day six of Marshy and Nigel's 200 in a, in a month. Um, just finished today's run, 10 miles, and I'm pleased to say that Nigel also did 10 miles. There he is, and there's Kim, and there's Jax. She had a little group of us today. A little group of us did 10 miles. Um, cheers to the girls for coming out for helping us out because it's pretty hard um, but I think like I said in I think it was day three about pre-framing something I definitely pre-framed today as really cold and really hard but the fact that I'd met friends to come out for a run is the reason that I managed to get out so I think it's, it's well researched out there that you're more likely to achieve your goals when working out with someone some studies showing five times more likely to achieve something when working out with a friend and that was certainly true today because um, if it hadn't been for meeting uh, Jackson, Kim and Nige I'm not sure I'd have got out and done done the, the 10 miles today so I think that, that stat is very true for me today and I'd said that to the members in the gym when we finished the class earlier on as well the fact that I had to meet someone actually made me accountable for getting out there and doing this today. So Nigel just there. He, uh, so Nigel, what's that, six days in a row? Six days in a row. So Nigel's update is that he's actually done 10 miles for the last six days. So he's actually already on 60 miles for the challenge and we're only six days in, um, which isn't bad, isn't bad at all. It's a great start for him. Um, and I think this, this man here defies odds because six years ago when I met the guy at 54, um, he couldn't run for a bus, <laughs> let alone run six, uh, six times 10 miles over six days. So never, never put limits on, never put boundaries on what you can do, never put barriers in the way. Um, but that is 10 miles done. So 10 miles off the total, day six done. We will patch in tomorrow. Have a good day, take care, bye-bye.